Hi, my name is Steven Apia, former Ghanaian international footballer and now the team coordinator of the senior national team, the Black Stars. I was invited by West Ham through Betway. Yesterday I went to watch West Ham against Man City. When we got to the stadium, there was a surprise for me, but I didn't know that there was a surprise. They took me around, they showed me a few places in the stadium and I end up going uh, through the tunnel to the pitch. West Ham presented a jersey with the number 10 and my name written at the back, Apia, by Stephen Lomas. And number 10 because when I was playing the national team since under 17, under 20, under 23, and the senior national team, I always wear number 10. So I'm really, really happy to be here. Today, I'm at the academy and I'm observing what, what they are doing. I'm very, very excited and I feel blessed because I think that we have a lot of players who would love to be in this position. I'm putting my foot down to learn and I'm really, really excited to be here. I met Adam who took me around and he showed me the, the pitch, he showed me the gym and the physio room. After that, they started the training. I went to the training grounds to observe what, what they're doing. I want to be into management and I think that these are the right people to meet and I'm really honored and excited to be here today. I must say that sitting here today, uh, I see myself uh, like I, I've already uh, pass the exam. Uh, the tidbits that I, I got from Mr. Terry Wesley, one thing I've, I, I, I learned from him, he, the way he will take his time to, to explain things to you. And then one thing that he said, I shouldn't be comfortable coming here alone, but I should go to various places. That's how you can learn more and you can be the best. I, I really, really enjoyed that moment because he was so open and we had a good chat. This morning, I'm at the stadium, West Ham Stadium. Uh, I was taken to a tour. I went to the pitch. They took me to the lounges. They explained me how it works inside. I was inside the dressing room, both home and away. So it's very, very interesting this morning. And I think that I'm still learning and I had a lot of fun. My dream is to be a manager in the future. Now I'm at West Ham. I'm here to observe and to learn and I hope my dream comes true. So when you have one of your best players who, who is injured, are you on the player side or the, the manager side? Take away the football, take away the elite sport. As a medical practitioner, we have a duty of care to do the right thing for that player. Now, you're going to go into management. You're going to have a decision now where your physio might say to you, look, he can play on Saturday. But if he gets injured, he's going to miss mm. the next four games. Mm. You then got to decide up, well, do I need him for Saturday's game? Or are the next four games more important to me as a manager? I mean, you have to be honest to, to the players being a coach. You have to open up and you have to have a good relationship in the dressing room. Pressure and all these things is, is part of our job. So it's how you handle it. And I think that um, I can handle it. I saw my friend Patrice. Uh, Pablo Zabaleta, Joe Hart, Mark Noble. The most important thing for me as a manager is someone who can um, be honest with you, good or bad, um, and be understanding and demanding. They're the, they're the three things that are important to me. Even the players, talking to them, they are not coaches, but they have knowledge because they have been in the game for so many years. You have been under a lot of coaches. I want a piece of advice from, from you. The most important for me, I think, is the communication. Yeah. Because even if you, you, will, you have your plan, but if you didn't uh, transmit it very well to your, your player, they won't understand you. Even if you have some good idea, you know, I think the communication. How often do you um, have contact with the coach behind the scene? You have to because, for instance, if you was to become a manager, and you, you pulled me in your office as your captain and said, look, Mark, I'm going to play this way today. You might not agree with it, but I need you to lead by example. Thank you, Mark. Stephen, pleasure, mate. Okay, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Today, I'm still here to observe, but today is very, very special because they involved me into the training, I mean, and I really, really enjoy myself. I've got a lot of ideas this morning. When they were training, uh, Terry came to me, and I think that even standing there watching the training, he will come to you and he will tell you that, oh, I'm doing this one touch because of this, two touches because of that. 
before you you used to be on the field now you're not on the field anymore yeah. want to go into management or so how, how how do you find it for me i wanted to go into coaching and, and long term go into management so um very fortunate to be in and around back at west ham um, as you can see from today there's some good people here for me at the moment it's just about getting hours on the grass trying to learn the other side and eventually input what i've got as a player alongside the coaching bit and, and do the best i can being a player for uh, for so many years, today I've realized that it's not only what we do on the pitch, but off the pitch and behind the scene, a lot goes on. So I will spread it to some of my friends who are into coaching. I will try to explain it to them as well, how they can, they can manage their teams. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, West Ham for welcoming me. Let me thank uh, Betway for giving me this opportunity. I wasn't expecting this, but it has blown my mind. What I've learned today is going to manifest in the future when I become a coach.